Hi, my name is Shelby. I'm Double Blind's co-founder and editor-in-chief, and today we're talking about heroic doses of shrooms. If you have been reading Double Blind or just reading about psychedelics on Reddit, then you've probably heard the term heroic dose. And basically what a heroic dose is, is five grams or more of dried psilocybe cubensis mushrooms, a big dose. And unlike high doses, which hover at around 3.5 grams or so, a heroic dose is said to be strong enough to take you out of your present reality. Let me just tell you from experience that even three and a half grams is a pretty strong dose. And depending on who you are, especially if you haven't built up a tolerance to shrooms, 3.5 grams is certainly enough to dissolve your ego, to completely detach you from reality. So it might not even be necessary to do as much as five grams. But generally speaking, when we define a heroic dose, we are talking about something that is five grams or up. And regardless of who you are, for most people, that is going to be enough for an incredibly profound psychedelic experience. The term heroic dose was actually coined in the 1980s by the legendary ethnobotanist Terence McKenna. And he said that a heroic dose was five grams of mushrooms taken alone in the dark with your eyes closed. And the purpose of the darkness is to be completely free of distractions so that you can just go inward. Now, it is possible to do a heroic dose, of course, with the presence of a facilitator or a therapist or a friend or someone who's there to kind of sit with you and support you and make sure you're okay. But generally the idea is you are doing the heroic dose to go inward by yourself and sit with whatever it is that emerges. Shane Norte, who is a Pio Kachim man that serves ceremony on his family's reservation, the La Jolla Indian Reservation in San Diego County, um, says that a heroic dose of shrooms is often one that is, quote, transformative, reconnecting, scary, ego shattering, life changing, horrible, and beautiful all in one. And that People may feel led to take a heroic dose due to difficult times in their life, such as the death of a loved one or a mental health or substance dependence challenge or the deep desire for self-discovery, but it's a big decision and it's one that you have to be really mindful about. Hi, my name is Shelby Hartman. I'm Double Blind's co-founder and editor-in-chief. And for those of you who don't know, Double Blind began as a print magazine five years ago that I had the idea for when I was meditating. It hasn't been easy. We've been up against a lot, from censorship to all the challenges of running a media startup in the 21st century. We vowed to never have a paywall over our articles and to always offer scholarships for our educational offerings so people are not locked out from the information that they need to heal. This is all been made possible by the support of our members. Our membership comes with journeys to help people prepare for and process their psychedelic experiences, and we've teamed up with our favorite people in the psychedelic space to offer breath work, cannabis ceremonies, integration circles, and more. Plus, the membership comes with a free subscription to our print magazine, which comes out twice a year. So if you feel called, I invite you to join us. So as mentioned, the threshold for how high a dose needs to be for it to have kind of a heroic effect really varies from person to person. George Giordano, who's a neuroscientist at Georgetown University, agrees that usually it's five grams or more taken in one sitting, but some people have gone as high as 10, 12, or even 15 grams. That is a huge amount of mushrooms. I can tell you for myself personally, I'm extremely sensitive, so even two grams, three grams, gets me to an extremely potent place that often disconnects me with reality. And when I'm there, I do not feel like I need more. So be really careful of romanticizing a heroic dose and 
sort of arbitrarily deciding that you should take, you know, four grams or five grams or whatever it is that you've read about on an, on the internet. Instead, you really want to take the time to ask yourself, what is it that you are looking to accomplish? Why is it that you actually feel called to have a quote heroic dose? Because if what you're looking for is healing, therapeutic insight, or just a trippy experience, it might not be necessary to take that much, but you also on the flip side could find it incredibly helpful and transformative. It's just, it's up to you. So why do we call it a heroic dose? The term heroic dose is a reference to the hero's journey, and that's a journey that is undertaken in mythology that involves deep transformation, working through a crisis, and ultimately returning home. And it's thought that when someone takes a heroic dose, they go on a hero's journey into their own mind, potentially resolving long-standing conflicts and emerging with a stronger sense of who they are. And this can be true, but it can also be true that when we take such large doses of psychedelics, especially if we're not prepared for what may come, it can be very destabilizing and it's important to have sort of a network of support in place for after the psychedelic experience in case it brings things to the surface that you really weren't ready for. We interviewed someone at Double Blind for our article on heroic doses who said, quote, many describe their experiences of high dose psychedelics as beautiful and life changing, but far too commonly people report traumatic experiences that set them into an anxious pattern. That's psychiatrist Sam Zand, who's the founder of the Anywhere Clinic and co-founder and chief medical officer of Better You. And that the key is really, he says, having proper guidance. James Giordano urges heroic dosers to make Make sure someone else is with them or at least easily reachable in case they have a bad trip and start to spiral. So if even if someone wants to honor McKenna's original prescription to journey alone, alone does not mean you're not without rescue. It doesn't mean you don't have a friend to call. It doesn't mean your neighbor doesn't know that you're having this experience in case you really feel you need support. Just understand that as with all journeys, you can't you can prepare as best as you possibly can and you can set intentions and you should do all of that. And we have a lot of information in our courses and workshops on doubleblindmag.com to help you prepare for a psychedelic experience. But generally speaking, the heroic dose is gonna draw you closer to your subconscious and unconscious thoughts. Typically a heroic dose is going to draw you closer to your subconscious and unconscious thoughts. And you're going to see things from an outside perspective and potentially blind spots that have lived within you. And so we have a lot of information on doubleblindmag.com in our courses and our workshops and our articles, which are all free on how to prepare for a psychedelic experience and how to set yourself up for the best chances of success. But it's just important to recognize generally that there's only so much that you can prepare for and that negative effects may include nausea, agitation, restlessness, anxiety. Deanna Rogers is an integration specialist who we work with at Double Blind who does integration circles for our members and for the double blind community says that, you know, following an ayahuasca experience, and this also holds true for a heroic dose on mushrooms or any other psychedelic experience, you have to be ready sometimes for things to sort of fall apart before they get better. Something else that can happen on a heroic dose is something that researchers refer to as the mystical experience, which is defined by uh, connectivity and oneness of all things, a sense that you're connecting with some kind of universal or objective truth, unconditional love, incredible amounts of beauty. So there's a lot of, of, of positive experiences that can also come from the heroic dose, but it's just important to be ready for whatever it is that might emerge, whether it's positive, negative, or both. And I'm also going to warn people against even using words like positive or negative because you know, we like to believe that, um, you know, oftentimes the challenging content that emerges um, during a profound psychedelic experience is there to show us something, is there to serve us, is there to help us on our path of healing. Dennis McKenna, who's the brother of the late Terrence McKenna, 
explained in an interview on Set and Setting about heroic doses. He said, you know, do this experience in a place where no one is going to bother you, no one at least that you don't want to bother you. So really think about, you know, I do not do a heroic dose at a music festival or with a bunch of people that you don't know very well. You want to do it somewhere where you can really be who you are and you can really let go and whether that's taking your clothes off, whether that's crying, whether that's screaming, like you feel safe to have the experience that you feel called to have. There are a lot of ways to integrate a profound psychedelic experience. And one of the things that most people will recommend is journaling. I know it sounds really simple, like eye roll journaling, but it's incredibly profound to actually try and articulate all of the sort of amorphous feelings and thoughts that may have emerged when you have had a profound psychedelic experience. Um, additionally, if you're struggling at all, or even if you just want help processing your psychedelic experience, it can be really helpful to work with a coach or to attend an integration circle. There are a lot of great psychedelic integration circles out there. At Double Blind, um, we host integration circles with people who we trust so that we can all talk about our psychedelic experiences and process them together in community. So it's definitely something that um, is worth thinking about before you embark on the hero's journey. If you're interested in more information like this, check us out at doubleblindmag.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.